<laughs> this is ridiculous. I think it's time we do a mailbag, guys. Alrighty, first out of the gate, we got from, this is from B&H Photo out of New York, because I can't buy these here in Canada. I got myself two Echo Dots. This is for the Amazon Alexa voice service. I've already got one up and running in the kitchen. Uh, I was getting kind of annoyed with the Raspberry Pi setup. It seemed just a tiny bit flaky, and I just wanted to have a standalone unit. It's so much easier, so here we go. Next up, we got a Wi-Fi repeater. My upstairs Wi-Fi repeater quit, so I got this Comfast unit. I just picked it up on Amazon. I have no idea how it's gonna work. Truthfully, uh, I looked at some of the reviews, and some of the reviews were eh, mostly positive. So basically, this will be just a range extender for my Wi-Fi. That's that's all there is to it. Now, what I need as well, I need this for the upcoming uh, Mars Rover project, but plugs into the wall. I think this is 5.8 and 2.4, but I can't remember for sure. That's been a while since I ordered it, but we'll get it out and give it a try. Next out of the gate, we got, ah, yes, yes, yes. These are 18650 uh, USB chargers. So these take an 18650 battery and convert it into a standalone little USB power bank. Charge through the micro USB and standard USB out. Not much to it. Should be, I believe, threaded cap. Yep. Just threads off, slides in, and we'll give it a try. I got, what did I get? Five of them? Four of them? So we'll see how they work out. Should be handy. Can't have too many of these. I actually found out lately I don't have enough. So I think we should be good now. What did we get here? These are, ah, yes, yes. These are a 30 amp current sensor module for using with Arduino and robotics projects. So uh, just standard. Um, ground out VCC and the in out nothing nothing crazy here I think it's a AC 5712 if you want to look up the data sheet on them a cool thing this is from Amazon I actually listed these on my store which is linked down below in the description I ordered two lipo bags and I was so impressed with it I immediately listed it on the store the other one I've already got in use Look at the size of the Velcro that it has here. Really good positive seal. It is quite heavy and plenty of room here. It's the size of about a half a lunch bag, so, or like a lunch cooler. Lots of batteries fit in this and it, it seems really good quality. Now, the only way to know for sure is to light off a LiPo in it, which I'm actually tempted to do on the channel sometimes, but or sometime, but these are a little expensive. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is for my outdoorsy stuff. I got a whole whack more of carabiners. Now these are not so much handy for electronics, but they're just super handy around the house on your backpacks, keychains and stuff. And they cost virtually nothing on eBay. Just standard aluminum carabiners. Next up, I got myself a 200 milliwatt video transmitter for my FPV stuff. Now this is a model that I have never used before. This is a DYS. And I'm not familiar with it. This does not appear to be switchable in any way. So this is static 200 milliwatt. I like the ones that I can switch 25, 200, 600, but uh, I really needed one with this remote SMA connector in a bit of a time crunch for a project. So I thought, oh, I'll take a flyer on it and see how it works out. The price was exceedingly reasonable. In this bag, more RC FPV stuff. These are Team Black Sheep antennas, super stubby ones. Uh, it's a SMA and then I believe there's an RP SMA as well. So um, both best of both worlds so I can get 
my quads up and going. I have both styles and tennis. I can't remember whether these are left or right hand. Pretty handy for my quads. Should get me going again. I'm all out of antennas. Got a box in here. Aha! To go with our earlier package, these should be, with any luck, 18650s. These are Ultra Fire 5000 milliamp hours, so 5 amp hours, 3.7 volt. Uh, should be pretty great for those USB battery chargers. It should be just perfect. Now I got four of them, which is perfect because I got four of the USB power banks. Next up, we got these. This is a case for the Arduino Mega. Now, I have a new 3D printer coming, but when I ordered these, well, I didn't. So I bought some of these acrylic cases. You just peel this... Uh, this paper off of here and then they're transparent acrylic but it's a, a proper case for the Arduino Mega which I'm going to be using in that big robot project coming up. Really basic one, cheapest chips webcam. Got this again as usual right out of eBay, right out of China. This is a standard 1080 webcam. I forget the megapixels on it, but it's not the best thing out there, but we're gonna give it a try. I think it'll be perfect for the computer vision on the robot. Plus, I liked the looks of it. it I think it suits the robot fairly well. So it should, be, it should be great. We'll plug this into the Pi, and then we'll have computer vision, hopefully. Another case for the Arduino Omega. This package, I got some three amp current sensors. These are a little fancier one, I think. They're I squared C. Let's see if we can, it's a problem when you have such long lead times. I forget the model numbers, but I can always do it on an overlay after, but this is a 8Y471. So, or is a BY471, uh, Max71 anyway, so that's a pretty standard chipset. Should be easy to find the data sheet on that, but I'm pretty sure they were a 3 amp. And that'll be handy as well on robot projects. Super handy stuff. We got a battery shield. This is for the Wemos D1 boards. And I've never had one before, but it's a LiPo charge and battery shield that fits right on the Wemos D1 minis. And I thought, well, that might be actually kind of interesting for some projects, for some wearables or small projects. So we'll give it a go. This package, a whole bunch of relays. Now, I have lots of relay modules for the Arduino, but I didn't have any standalone relays for actual custom PCBs. So these are uh, 250 volt rated, uh, 30 volt DC, and up to 10 amps. So lots and lots of current capability. Pretty standard, normally open, normally closed connection, and then your two, two coil connections, nothing to it. Also got, for the Arduino Mega 2560, I got, a shield, a breakout shield, that breaks out all the connections separately, really nice, uh, easily plugged into. Might be kind of handy for some projects, I'm not sure just yet, but I like I like being able to break out the signal power and ground to just to three wires. Uh, it takes basically, you just use servo connections, plugs right on. Because I broke one of my quad frames, we got Another 210, this is a standard 210 quad frame, nothing special, it's uh, all the standard layout. It's under 20 bucks for one of these frames to have a replacement, because I brought, broke the top plate on my uh, my daily flyer, so I needed a spare. I think we'll paint this up, uh, because I actually already got one, I replaced the plate. I think we'll paint this one up as a, uh, a custom uh, dipped paint theme, like the Red October build, and it should be kind of neat. Why not? Um, one more outdoorsy thing. Cool little mess cook kit right out of China. Really, really cool. It's uh, much the feel of titanium, but it's actually aluminum because it's coated. Uh, really, really neat. Frying pan and a pot. It's dirt cheap. As well. I was actually surprised to find this. One last outdoor thing. Non-electronics. This is a clone of the Trangia, the mini Trangia stove. And I've never seen I've never seen a clone available. But 
I love these stoves. I love my Trangia stove. It's got a simmer ring that pops on the top that allows you to simmer. And as well, you just pour your alcohol, it just takes a denatured alcohol. It's got an O-ring seal on the top. And these, this style of stove actually acts as its own fuel container as well. The only drawback is it needs a stand, which it comes with. Nice, cool little anodized aluminum, really light stand, and then set your pot on top. Really handy with the cold weather coming up on us now. Uh, it's uh, good to have a stove when you go uh, just outdoors anywhere. It's good to have a, a cup of hot coffee now and again. Remember, click a thumbs up on this video if you like these mailbags. I'd love to hear from you guys out there. I don't get to talk to you enough, and it lets me know that you're there. If you click that thumbs up, it truly helps me. I will talk to you guys soon. Throw a comment down below if you'd like to see some particular use of any of these items, and I will see you next video very soon.